How you doing today? I'm Frankie G, the Cooking Cowboy. And today, what I want to do is make something simple and quick that I've been making for years. And it's my version of a fajita. So, let's go get that started. Now, I've been heating up the pan for a few minutes and I'm going to add the oil now because I, I don't want the oil to burn. So that's why you don't put it in the beginning. So we're going to add a couple of tablespoons of the oil. And you also want to throw in some butter and get that melted. As you can tell that pan's really hot. So now that we've got the butter pretty much melted, what we want to do is we want to get the onions in first. And to that, we want to add some salt and pepper. So let's go get that. Here we go. It works better when it's open, right? Some pink Himalayan sea salt, as always. Sprinkle it in from high. This way it kind of snows on it and spreads better. And some fresh pepper. And then we want to start stirring it up. Now I always go with the onions a couple of minutes before the peppers because the onions take a little longer to, uh, to cook. A little more salt. And a little more pepper. Again, you want to let the onions cook just a couple more minutes longer than the peppers. Okay, so the onions have gotten a couple of minutes head start. Let's go get the peppers and add them. I'm using one red, one yellow, and one orange pepper to give it some color. Again, add a little more salt. A little more pepper. And we mix that in. Take a look at those beautiful colors. It kind of reminds me of fall when the leaves start to turn. You get that red and that orange and that brown. And that's going to be happening soon. So it's a beautiful time of year. So what you want to do is you want to let it cook and you want to stir it occasionally. So I'm going to be making some egg noodles on the side because you can have this either way. You can have it in a wrap or you can have it on top of noodles. It's very versatile. So let's get that started. I'm going to salt up the water. I'm also going to put a lid on it so it boils faster. All right, let's give this a stir. Okay, so let's give this one more stir. Oh yeah, those onions have softened up nicely.
So next thing we want to do is add the meat. I'm using two pounds of sirloin because that's what Mrs. Greco prefers. So let's get some salt and pepper on meat. Now I have pre-sliced these up in thin quarter inch strips. That's how I make them. Again, some salt. And remember the salt from a pie because it, it actually spreads better on the meat. Move this around a little so we can get it on all the meat. And the pepper. Now, now we're just going to add the meat right in. Get my handy tongs. this off on the side and you want to mix that in as well. Some people say you should sear the meat separately. Me, no, I'm just putting it all in. This is a one pot deal. It, I don't want it to overcook because if you sear it first and then put it in, there's a chance you can overcook it and dry it out. And I don't want that. At this point, it's almost like a stir fry because I don't want it to overcook the meat and dry it out. So I'm constantly moving it around. Got a little bit of light here. There we go. I can see clearly now the light is on. Don't worry, I'm not going to give up my career for singing. I can see all obstacles in my way. Check on this water. Oh, I'm starting to see a little bit of bubbles. Notice I'm constantly working the meat because I don't want it sitting still and overcooking. So the meat is coming along, so what I want to do at this point, I like to add some beef gravy, some canned beef gravy. So here's one can. And I'm actually using some Heinz home style gravy. I usually use the Heinz. But I couldn't find it anywhere, not the beef gravy. So I have one can of Campbell's and one jar of Heinz. Now you want to mix all that in there with it. It's actually coming together. The gravy actually makes a really good flavor to it. So th at this point it's almost done, but what I want to do is I want to kick up the heat a little bit. And I like to use Texas peat hot sauce. It's just got a distinct flavor. I, I like it. Spread that around. We all have different tastes. We all have different levels of how hot we like things, so be careful when you're using this. Mix that in. Oh, it smells delicious. Look how fast it comes together. Now, I've made this so many times, that it's at this point, I already know I'm going to have to add a little more salt and pepper to it. Turn this heat down a little bit. The 
data store. Turn that water up a little bit so it cooks a little faster. All right, let's give it a bit of a taste. Actually, the flavor is actually pretty good. Now, you just actually want to let that cook slow. And that's it. We'll be almost done. Let's check on the water. The water's starting to boil. So, let's get a taste of the meat. Get one small strip. There we go. Wow, the meat's perfect. So, I'm going to remove this from the heat because that part is essentially done. So now I'm just waiting on the water. And let me check. We got a boil. So, so I'm actually what I'm going to be using is some extra broad uh, no yolk noodles. Give that a stir. So what you want to do with these noodles is you bring a pot of water to a boil. Okay, I added some salt. And now I added the noodles. You want to bring it back up to a rapid boil and let it cook for 10 or 12 minutes. So every so often you want to give those noodles a stir. All right, so we've got everything done. So let's get this off the stove and let's get a try. I'm going to use noodles because that's the way I prefer. So you put some noodles on the plate. Add some of the fajita on top. Make sure you get an equal amount. Get some of them peppers and onions as well, not just the meat. Get a little bit of the sauce on top. All right, so let's go give this a try. Taste the meat. Mmm. The meat's tender, juicy. Consistency of the peppers, let's see. Nice. Then we add the noodles in. Uh, everything came out perfect. So if you look for something economical, quick, and easy, here it is, my little fajita. So if you like what you see, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications. Until next time, Frankie G, the Cooking Cowboy, signing off. Sayonara. Oh, so good. See you next time.
So, if you like what you see, don't forget to hit. So, if you like what you see, don't hit the. Yeah. So, if you like what you see, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications. Until next time, Frankie G, the Cooking Cowboy, signing off. Sayonara. Oh, so good. See you next time. GoPro, stop recording.